Hello you beautiful people, my name is Photon Mo and welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we are going to try and climb to the top of a spire, defeat some bosses, build our decks, and win. Um, but otherwise, that's just... Uh, we don't do much past that. Um, I'm gonna do the Ironclad just because I haven't played this in a little while, so I'm gonna take myself a little a little easier route uh, neither of them are necessarily easier or harder than the other but the ironclad does have a bit more health which can give me a bit more leeway and he heals at the end of combat which is nice so I'm gonna use the ironclad and I'm going to embark on a journey to climb the spire so I have to talk to a little ghostly whale as you do before every single uh, spire. Um, I'm gonna take three random potions. Entropic. Ooh, that's nice. Strength potion. And then an explosive potion. That's actually super good. I will take all of those. Alright, now we have access to the map and we climb to the top and fight the boss. Uh, Pretty simple. It's nothing else to know past that. Uh, I'm gonna take a heavily question marked path just for the fun of it. So let's do this bottom right one here so that we can get three questions mark question marks and then we will have uh, the option of going either towards another battle for the elite or we can go with another question mark and decide whether we want to do the elite. And then we'll have access to a merchant and stuff. I don't know. I'm feeling kind of risky. Let's do some question marks. Oh, easy battle. All I have is... Um, I don't know what this is called. A cultist. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So he intends to use a buff, which is alright. That means I don't have to worry about defending because he's just going to buff up. So I'm going to deal 8 damage and apply vulnerable and then I'm going to deal some more damage with the strike. That's all I can do. I'm going to end a turn. This game is a deck building game where you build a deck and uh, then you try... It, yeah, it's, it's a deck builder. And you play uh, cards and build your deck and such. So I'm going to gain 5 block just because he plans on doing 6 damage. He also uh, will gain 3 strength after this turn. So that's that means I need to kill him quicker. Uh, now I'm okay with taking 1 damage. That's not too bad for me. So I'm going to take a couple strikes to deal some damage to him this turn. Since he has this uh, vulnerable, he took quite a bit more damage than just the just the six I was hitting him with. So he's gonna do one damage to me, and then I will get my turn again. So now he got buffed up. Uh, I can either try and go for lethal, which I just barely have, so I'm gonna go for it. In games like this, you have to prioritize lethal. So I would block twice if I didn't have lethal and just do one damage, but since I had lethal, I just went for it. So I have full health because I healed 6 and I get a new card after the battle. So cards cost energy. As you saw I have 3 energy per turn and the energy is in the top left of the card and they do something. Their skills, powers and uh, attacks and defense and stuff like that. So they all do different things, they all mean different things, they all have different modifiers. It's on the card, you read the card, it tells you what it does, simple as that. It's like any other card game out there, any deck builder. You shuffle through your deck the whole battle. And so I like to keep my deck relatively small so I can get to those powerful cards quicker and cycle through them quicker. And that's a part of a strategy is you get a small deck and or you try and either make a super big deck full of super powerful cards or you try and trim your deck down and get rid of your starting cards to keep your powerful cards. 
So I actually like the Infernal Blade because it adds a random attack for free. So it's a random attack and it's a free shot. So basically one time every battle for one energy I get just a random attack. And that I, I that's super invaluable over time. Uh, whenever you draw a status card, so a power stays with you for the rest of the round, which can be nice. So if I get evolved right at the beginning of the round, throw it out. Every time I draw a status card, I get to draw one card. That I don't find super useful because status cards are stuff like dizzy, uh, stun, stuff like that, uh, broken. I, I can't think of the status cards, but basically they're uh, like debuff cards that enemies will throw into your deck to, to mess with you. I am not a huge fan of that. Um, Warcry is alright, but I, nah, not a huge fan of it. So I'm going to take Infernal Blade just because I find it massively powerful. The only path we can go is to the question mark. So this ends up just being a battle. Slimes are frustra frustrating. So these are both going to debuff me. Um, let's use my Inf uh, Infernal Blade and see... see uh what happens okay so i got body slam that's not good to have for now because <laughs> i have no block so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to save that up and i'm going to just bash and this boil and then uh we are just gonna end my turn uh because body slam i don't have a ton of block pretty pointless to use so that can be a downside one decided weaken me one decided to frail me so I take a bit more damage uh, or sorry I attack I deal out less damage and I will gain less block from my defend card so instead of getting four block I gain three block etc um, since I'm gonna be attacked once I am going to defend once and then uh, I'm dealing less damage, which is unfortunate. But I'm going to try and take out this uh, spike slime. Because he's going to try and debuff me once again. Uh, plus he also has the vulnerable on him, so he takes more damage. So I'm going to take advantage of that. I only have one card in my deck now. And <laughs> ten cards in my discard. So when I draw cards, I'm going to reshuffle my discard and get it through. So as you see, reshuffled, and I got a balls ton of cards. So I actually have uh, lethal on the spike slime, so I'm going to take him out, and then I'm going to take out the acid slime, and end my turn. And next turn I'll have lethal, so I'm just going to get debuff, and then lethal him. So I actually took no damage this. Uh, wow. Okay, this is an interesting way to end the round. I basically <laughs> I had no attack cards so I'm gonna have to do defend and then use body slam to kill him but uh, luckily I did have an attack card I was able to kill him uh, let's take another card this impervious is amazing with body slam because you can uh, get do impervious gain 30 block exhaust the card so that means you can only use it once which and it was all right with impervious and then use body slam and so that that is freaking amazing um but frankly i'm gonna use shrug it off to gain some block just so that i can have some more defensive try and keep my health up uh and maybe i'll try and build more of a defensive build there are ways you can strategize and choose cards to help benefit you over time because there are some really, really powerful, uh, powerful synergies within cards. But sometimes it's down to luck, sometimes it's down to strategy. Not a huge fan of Dropkick. If they have Vulnerable, which I can have them on pretty often, I gain an extra energy and draw a card. But, eh. That, that, that one's alright. I'm gonna take Shrug it off because I like the defense that it gives. Alright, so let's move on to the next battle. Another question mark. This could be an event a battle. Something. It looks like it's an event. So I fell into 
Uh, slime goop. Shoot. So, I noticed that some of my gold is missing. I see my missing coins combined with gold in the puddle. So, I can either gain gold and lose 11 HP or just lose 44 gold. Screw that. I will lose the health. I'll gain that back in two battles as long as I don't lose any, uh, lose any health. Which shouldn't be too hard since I'm relatively defensive now. So I'm going to take the gold and run. Alright. Perfect. This next one, another event. So, perfect. I hear gurgling and grinding of metals. Before you is a slime-like creature that ate too much scrap for its own good. So, there might be a treasure in there. But since it's sharp, it may hurt. So, this is probably a multi- uh, chance event so what I can do is I can either just leave or I can reach inside lose three health and there's a 25% chance that I find a relic a relic is up here so this is super powerful if I get a good relic 3 HP is not a bad sacrifice so I could probably reach inside multiple times I think I'm gonna lose 3 HP hey I got a relic oh nice I had only took one shot lost another three damage but I got a blood vial so I get two extra HP at the beginning of every combat and at the end I'll get six eh, not too bad frankly uh, losing that three HP totally worth it because over time through the course of battle I'm going to gain all of that HP back so I find it worth it now I can either go with the enemies or another random event with the enemies I gain more cards to put in my deck random event I get a choice to either go for the elite if I go with the enemy I am stuck moving on the elite path so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the random event again <laughs> oh I just got a chest heck yeah I got ginger all right I can no longer become weakened that is actually super powerful so I got another relic and weakened creatures deal 25% less damage with attacks so weak creatures uh, are even more weak which is nice that was a good one now I have a choice I would like to go to the merchant since I have tons of gold so I'm gonna skip the elite this turn even though the elite you do get a relic I think. but I'm not a hundred percent sure all right so he's gonna do 11 attack this next turn so I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna gain some block and I'm actually gonna gain some more block and then I'm going to use my Infernal Blade to see if I can do something. Ooh, Sever Soul. I can... Oh, wow. I have no non-attack cards in my hand. So literally, this is a free 16 damage. Super easy. That works out perfectly for me. So I don't have to exhaust any cards, which means I get rid of them. I only lose 1 HP. And I did 16 damage. That worked out super great in my favorite so now I have severed soul for the rest of this battle which is super nice so he's going to uh, intend to block and use a buff uh, which is alright I'm just going to attack I'm gonna do all damage because he is not going to attack me so let's see what he does he's gonna buff up and block uh, so he gains six defense and three strength. So he's gonna do quite a bit of damage. Uh, let's see, he has 16 health. I do believe that I have lethal. So let's see. I do eight and apply two vulnerable, and then I would be able to do another eight damage. So I actually have lethal. Let's go for it. Oh, I actually do 9 damage. Okay, so I miscalculated it. Still lethal. Didn't make a mistake. That works. Alright, the attack potion. Ooh, this is basically the the dagger. Um, but for free. And... Ah, uh, should I take it? I want to keep the entropic brew. The explosive potion. Mmm. No, I'm going to leave that behind, but I am going to add it. I am going to add uh I'm going to add a card to my deck. 
Ooh, three weak and vulnerable to all enemies. That's not too bad. Because then, uh, weak creatures will also deal less damage. So that's actually really good, because three weak means that for three turns, it has weakness. So that's super awesome, and it's going to deal even less damage with my ginger. I could also get clash. If I have all, every card is an attack, I get a free 14 damage. The odds of that happening are still relatively high, so that's not a bad card. But it is situational, which can be frustrating sometimes. I think I'm going to take Shockwave. And now we get to check out the merchant. So I can... Uh, nope! Shit. I just saw an arrow and I clicked on it. Whatever. Okay, cool. I'm... Now I'm going to battle a bunch of slimes. Okay. They are going to absolutely destroy me, so I am actually going to just do full defense. Try and take as little damage as I can this turn. And actually, I'm going to use this explosive potion. Yep. 10 damage to all enemies, that'll actually kill a majority of them, and then that means as long as I can attack three times, I have lethal on the rest. So I actually could have gone through that battle without taking any damage. That was my mistake. I should have been more aware, but what can you do? So basically now I'll, all I am relying on is the fact that I can actually use that. That's all I needed. Perfect. I made a mistake. I should have taken no damage that. Uh, round, but that's all right. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna. I could actually do three HP though every time you want to do damage. Nah. Close line, deal twelve damage and apply two weak. That's not bad. It's actually a really good attack, so I'm gonna take that. Perfect. We found a chest. Let's see what's in this chest. Get some treasure. Bottled Flame. Start each combat. Upon pickup, choose an attack. Start each combat with... Ooh. So I guarantee having this in my hand every time. I'm going to take Clothesline every time at the beginning of combat. Perfect. Uh, let's go with a battle. And then I will take advantage of that fire to upgrade a carrot. So I'm gonna do one defense so that I only take one damage. This guy's gonna buff uh, and then we're gonna bash this fungi beast. All right, perfect. Actually, I would have taken no damage had I used weak, but that's okay. So let's use Shockwave real quick. That'll apply weak and vulnerable to all enemies. And then we are going to defend and gain that block. So I should take no damage this turn. No, I only took one. Okay. That's all right. They're both attacking this turn, which can be frustrating. Uh, let's use Infernal Blade and see what that gets me. Carnage. Deal 20 damage. Holy shit. Okay, then. Alright, so I can... I have lethal on this Fungi Beast, which I'm gonna have to do. So, let's... Let's lethal there. Oh, the Fungi... Applies to Vulnerable on Death. How did he get stronger? Oh, because I'm vulnerable, that's why. Okay. Uh, in that case, what I can do is I can clothesline. Apply too weak. Or I can defend and take no damage. I'm gonna defend. And... Yeah, I'm gonna defend. 
So, I'm gonna play it safe this time. Take no damage. So I'll have full health at the end of this turn. Which I would rather have. Alright, now I just... Oh, I should've done Bash first. I would've done an extra 3 damage. Oh, I would've had lethal had I used Bash first. See, y you gotta be aware of these things. You've gotta be aware of these things. It's okay, because the odds of me not being able to lethal this turn were super low. But, had that... Uh, had I not been able to lethal that second time and taken damage, y you gotta be aware of this. Swift Potion, might as well take it. Um, gain an extra two energy. Oh, Flex is really good, paired with a couple other cards. Pommel Strike is alright. I might as well get a free extra strength. I'm not gonna complain about that. And we are going to go to the Fire, so I, I can upgrade a card. No point in resting because I have full health. So I can upgrade if I upgrade clothesline it's the same. It does 14 damage and applies 3 weak. If I upgrade shockwave 5 weak and vulnerable. That's actually really good. Flex is 4 strength. Um, Shrug it off is 11 block. Infernal Blade becomes free. I really like that. That's absolutely free random attack. I think I'm going to take that. <clears throat> I love Infernal Blade. So good. And if you can get a ton of those, oh boy, and upgrade them, oh boy. A bunch of free attacks. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, we've got some sneaky gremlins. We've got a fat gremlin. A gremlin with a wizard. And a fat gremlin. Okay, so I am going to take quite a bit of damage this turn. So what I'm going to do is apply weak and vulnerable to everybody. Pretty freaking awesome. And I'm going to gain some block. So I will take damage, but what can you do? You're going to have to take some damage sometimes. Um... Okay. So, they're also going to attack. This guy's completely unknown. I'm going to use Infernal Blade. Oop. Sever Soul. I cannot do that whatsoever. So I'm not going to be able to use that because that will get rid of too many cards. I'm not willing to make that sacrifice. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flex, because it's free, so I might as well. And then I'm going to attack and defend. So let's kill that gremlin, and then defend, and I'm not going to take any damage this turn. So that works out. <clears throat> okay, he's... He's being funky. I'm not sure what he's doing. Ah! Okay, now he's gonna attack. Cool. Um, so, I'm gonna block. So I'm gonna gain that block. And then I can clothesline. I can either do 12 damage or 12 damage in 2 weak. So let's do 12 damage in 2 weak. Perfect. So I'm gonna take quite a bit of damage this turn. It's gonna suck. But what can you do? Alright, so I took quite a bit of damage. Um let's flex. And let's see if we can So I could lethal one of these guys, but I'm going to lose four defends. Well, I'm going to lose two defends. So I'm going to lethal this guy, take no damage. I will lose two defends, but what can you do? And that's just for this round, so I get them back after this round anyway. 
Okay, I think that guy's gonna charge one more turn. So I'm okay. Let's, let's see. I can bash and then strike and lethal this guy. And then I will I will have lethal on that guy. So perfect. Taking no damage. Bash strike. Lethal. And then so long as I get one strike, I will have lethal on that guy. Perfect. Alright. Let's flex on him just because I can. And then we are gonna strike with a little extra damage just for overkill. Perfect. Alright. Do I want the poison potion? Six poison. Damn, that is actually really good. I'll take that. Draw three cards. I'm actually gonna get rid of the swift potion and I will take the poison potion gladly. Okay. Fire breathing is pretty solid. So I can use that early on and then every attack I do deals one damage to everybody. So that's pretty nice. And then this depends on how much energy I use. So I can do 15 damage to all enemies or 5 damage to all enemies three times. So 15 damage to everybody if I use it at the beginning of my turn with three energy. So that's pretty solid. Um, so I could either do Fire Breathing or Whirlwind. I don't have a super heavy attack. Well, it will get. I think I want to do a heavy quick attack, so I'm going to get Fire Breathing, just because I can. And let's go to rest. I will get full HP or I can smith. I think I'm going to smith. And what I will do is I will smith fire breathing, which makes it free. And I should be good on health because I have enough regen. Oh, and there's also a, another fire, so, okay. Okay. So I'm going to take 16 damage this turn, and I have no defense. So I'm going to use Shockwave. And then I'm going to strike. Okay. That's all I can do. Weaken them as much as I can. And then I will gain 24 health at the fire. So let's flex. And then let's see if we can get lethal on this Fungi Beast. 8, 16. But he's weak. So I actually do have lethal. That works. That works. And I guess I can shrug it off. Ooh, and use fire breathing. There we go. That works. I will take the power in a turn. Easy. Alright. So he's going to use lick. He's, I am immune to that. Because I cannot be weakened. Nice. Let's use Infernal Blade. Ooh, I just got Whirlwind. So does this count? So this would be one attack. I might as well do it. Yeah, I'll do an extra bit of damage. So I think that'll be ten. And then three? At the end? Oh, only two, damn it. Oh, I didn't quite have lethal. I didn't play it right. Oh, no. Oh no, I should have used, used my strength potion. Whatever. Okay, so th these are the status cards that I was talking about early game. I'm slimed, and so I just get a random status card that uh, is 
is just in my deck and I can use one energy to exhaust it if I want. But whatever. Power potion. One of three random power cards to add to hand. That's not too bad, but whatever. Fiend fire. Clothesline. I do not want again. Deal three damage to a random enemy three times. That's alright. Deal seven damage for each exhausted card. This one's dangerous. I like fiend fire, but it's dangerous. I'm actually gonna. Uh, I like sword ring. All right, fine. I'm gonna take it, and then we're gonna heal up at the fire for the boss. Boss, we're gonna take rest. We are three health short. We're actually gonna gain two health going into this battle, so I will be down one hit point. I am okay with that. All right. We have got pretty set up, so I'm going to do a clothesline to apply some weak, and then do some damage, and I'm okay with that. That's all I can do that turn. So he, he just buffed. He's going to do five damage six times. Whew. <laughs> all right. So let's... Gain some block. Let's use Infernal Blade. See what see what that gives me. Uppercut. Hell yeah. Let's use Flex. Uppercut him. And then Bash. Perfect. That's all I can do. Now I'm going to take a ball's ton of damage. Cool. Alright, fire breathing I'm absolutely going to use. Uh, sword boomerang. Let's actually defend just so that I can just take less. Apply three weak and vulnerable to all enemies. Should I use shockwave? No. I'm going to use sword boomerang and strike. Alright. Oh, damn it. I got burn in my deck. That's irritating. Alright, let's flex just because we can. It's going to do five damage twice. So I'm going to defend. I'm also going to shrug it off. And then we are going to a strike. So I'm going to try and take as little damage as I can, just to try and survive this. I'm actually going to use my poison potion. Um, let's throw it at him. I'm also going to use my strength potion, and I might as well use my entropic brew. Oh, regen potion, nice, heck yeah, I'm going to take that. Five regen, and then a power potion. I might save that. Should I get another regen? I might as well take it. Why not? So I'm gonna gain 10 HP and then gain 9 HP. So I'll be at. Yeah, yeah. All right, whatever. So I'm not gonna worry about defending. I'm just gonna strike twice. And then defend. I just want to kill him as fast as possible. So, perfect. So, I take another burn, which is irritating. Alright, he's not going to attack, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, I don't have to worry about defending. I'm going to apply weak and vulnerable. That is nice. And then we are going to do. 15. Oh no, not enough. Okay, that's alright. I'm gonna do that. And then in my turn, I'm gonna get some more regen. He takes some poison damage. Okay, he did some defense. That is alright. So I'm gonna take 2 damage plus a 5 by 2. 
And I have no way of defending, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clothesline and then strike just so that I can weaken him. That's about all I can do this turn. And then my regen is probably going to save my ass. Alright. So he's going to do 6 damage. I'm going to shrug it off. Flex. And then sword boomerang and strike. Alright, that's about all I can do there. A couple more and I should have them down. Perfect. Alright, three by six. Um I'm actually just gonna defend this. Regen, defend take three damage oh my god you just hit me with three burn pluses oh shit. okay so I'm gonna flex I'm gonna uppercut and then I'm gonna strike so close to lethal oh well what can you do Oh man, he had one health! You're kidding me! Oh, whatever. It's so frustrating sometimes, but I think I got out of that pretty dang well. Speed potion and double my strength is good with a bunch of flexes. Reaper, mm, this is not too bad. Impervious. I'm actually going to take Limit Break. Alright, so now I get to choose a Relic. Potions always appear in combat awards. Eh. At the end of the turn, you no longer discard your hand. Definitely eh. And gain energy at the start of your turn. Feature card rewards have two less cards to choose from. So I get an extra energy, but I only get a choice of one card I will take it I will take an extra energy every